Bluefin Depot is looking pretty nice this time of year, isn't it? Better start packing your bags for a map that's oh so conveniently split in two. That's what I would like to say, but we don't actually know that Bluefin Depot is in Splatoon 3 just yet. However, I'm pretty sure that we will see it at some point, and I'm here today to make my case for the one, the only, the Bluefin Depot. Bluefin Depot was a map that was in Splatoon 1. It was a map that a lot of people liked, a a as long as you had long range. A and I played a lot of custom Jet Squelcher with the Burst Bomb and the Kraken, and I was able to just hit anyone from anywhere, and it was really awesome for me, so I'm really biased and I want it back. <laughs> but I do have real reasons for why this map should come back. First of all, Bluefin Depot is split into two halves already. It's perfect for players who want to choose a spot to drop from the sky, which we know is a thing in Splatoon 3. In Splat Zones on Bluefin Depot, the Splat Zone was only on one half of the map. Players would use the other half to do things like build up for special, go around the back to flank. Did I mention going around the back to flank? <laughs> it's very fun to have alternative paths, and we know that currently in Splatoon 3, a lot of the maps that have came back kind of had their paths taken away from them, looking especially at you, Mahi Mahi Resort. I don't see how Nintendo could actually ruin Bluefin Depot in comparison to some of the other maps that have come back. You can't just look at Bluefin Depot and say, oh yeah, um, we're gonna remove half of the stage to make it a single run forward. Then it wouldn't be Bluefin Depot. If they did that, I wouldn't look at that map and call that Bluefin Depot. I'd be like, oh, okay, it's a stage that has water around the edges and you drop down to fight in the middle. That's not Bluefin Depot. That's that's like, I don't know, Mai Mai after the water has come down? Dare I say Camp Triggerfish? Ugh. And don't get me wrong, Bluefin Depot does need some tweaking. It was a map where the Rainmaker Podium was really, really, really close to spawn. And on top of that, the way you came up to the Rainmaker Podium, oh my god, you had to walk across a whole bunch of grates. So you would have a lot of players that would accidentally go into swim form and <laughs> fall through the grate. Ah, bless. One thing I could see them do to Bluefin Depot would be to take the map and just kind of scale it down a bit, as Bluefin Depot was <laughs> a very huge map. However, they gotta be careful if they choose to make the map a bit smaller, because they could easily make it so the Charger players are able to reach from one side to the other side, which would be very scary if you're not Charger. This already kind of happened on maps like Mahi Mahi anyway, so they could end up doing that again. Part of the fun of Bluefin Depot though, was how interconnected the map felt even though it was so large. Every version of the stage had some way to quickly access the other side without having to go all the way around. And that's what made it a lot of fun because it was very easy to flank around, so you had to keep on your toes all the time. It made it also a lot of fun to like, you know, call out people, because you had to be just really all about it. Does that make this map a menace on solo queue? <laughs> Absolutely. You, I can't wait until we have a whole new wave of funny little sploosh players trying to go around the back. They walk around the left hand side, they climb up the wall, they go almost all the way around, and then uh, the player that sees them flanking around just throws a bomb up top, and the sploosh explodes because they aren't paying attention. Yay! You can also have these really silly 1v1s, like on the ledges before the drop down into where the zone would be, the middle of the map would be, etc. Because people would try to predict when people were going up or down the back walls, <laughs> and it would just become this big old bomb fight. It, it was great. And for the people out there that do like seeing people like me and others fall in the water, yes, you could fall into the water in Bluefin Depot relatively easily. Not every instance of Bluefin Depot even had an easy way to go from left to right without having to do, you know, a mid-air jump. Not to imply a lot of people missed that jump, but it did happen on occasion. 
Victoria and Post here to add how glorious it would be to fight on clam blitz in this map. Oh my god. Imagine the baskets all the way up top. <laughs> talk, talk about a talk, talk about a, a 100 100 match in clam blitz. I would just love to see more people come back to strategize on Bluefin Depot again. What do you think? Would you want to give a try to Bluefin Depot? Especially if you haven't tried it because you didn't play Splatoon 1? I think that's part of the allure as well, that you would have players be able to see if their love for Bluefin Depot still lasts in Splatoon 3 if they liked it a lot in Splatoon 1. I mean, I'd fall into that category. I found it fun because I played mostly long range weapons. Now. I, I don't, so I'd be curious about playing it from the perspective of, ah, I have Booyah Bomb, and I can throw it right at the top of the map. <laughs> and it'd be evil. I want to do that. I'm sure I'm sure there are other people out there too. Okay, um, uh, bye.